side and I'm here in Blackpool check out this golden light we've got now it's around about half past eight on a Monday evening the sun is going down I think we're going to be in for a nice sunset tonight folks I'm up here North Shore just by Ginn Square just behind me we've got Middle Walk yeah bit notorious middle walk especially after dark anyway I don't normally say this at the start of a video but if you're not subscribed to me Please hit the subscribe button. I'm almost at 60,000 followers. Yeah, I'm almost at the 60K mark. That'll be a big landmark, that, for the channel. Okay, so tell your friends and family, anyone who loves Blackpool, get following me. Walk on the wild side. I come up. There's always one, isn't there? Noisy motorbike. Yeah, I cover all sides of Blackpool from the good to the bad and the downright ugly. Yes. So if you like to see the gritty side, follow me, because I show you all sides of Blackpool on this channel. And in this video, we're going to be on a bit of a positive note in this video. I want to show you the views we've got up here because they're amazing. We've got some cracking views. You know, we are on the doorstep to the Lake District and North Wales here in Blackpool. We can see both from here tonight. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. Just look at that view of Blackpool Tower up the tram tracks there from Ginn Square. What a view. So this is where I am. Oh, just look at this vista, folks. You know, I do get a little bit of stick sometimes for showing the not-so-nice parts of Blackpool, but... Uh, we're not going to see that in this video. We're going to see one of the main draws of Blackpool, and that is this view from the promenade look at that there amazing you can see the lake district up there it looks absolutely amazing i can see all the fells you know you can see right up to hell Valley from here on a clean day this way to the hole in the wall cafe you can go down there to the lower promenade i don't think the cafe is open now but uh, it is open in the season yeah it will be open during the day the hole in the wall cafe this is where i am I'm just by this massive big, like a big patio, isn't it? There, with this balustrade going around. Isn't it fancy? What they used to build back in the olden days. They don't build them like they used to, do they? And uh, if we have a little look up here, we've got a park up here, which I have showed before. That's the Savoy Hotel, just up there. We've got these massive big gate posts here, which I'm not sure they were for. If anyone could let me know, they're very grand gate posts. Let's take a closer look, shall we? What do you think? So this is Jubilee Park here. It's like a sunken gardens, just here. I've showed that before. And there is actually a plaque on that gatepost there, which uh, it's like a memorial for the police officers. There was three police officers that drowned in the sea. Back in 1983, it made the national headlines there. And there's a main memorial just up there, which I have showed before. I might, might show you actually. Uh, Let's go and have a little look, shall we? This is the other side, you can go down this side as well. We've got a toilet block there as well. Not that many toilets in Blackpool, is there really? And they're all, you, you have to pay for them all now, don't you? You don't get any free toilets now. Let's have a little look at Jubilee Gardens. It's looking quite nice, actually. There you go, Blackpool is pretty much starved of uh, gardens, really, on the promenade. and. Uh, so this is uh, quite welcome really and it's looked after i believe they've got uh, friends of jubilee gardens that look after it like volunteers so they keep it looking quite tidy they help the council to keep it looking pretty tidy filed coast men's shed that uh, was donated by that bench there so this is the main memorial here so we've got four figures. I think the fourth figure is supposed to represent all the emergency services. There you go. So if you're coming to Blackpool, you might want to check this out. We've got a bit of a bike race going on the promenade. They're making a lot of noise. 
I'll just show you down here. There's a hole in the wall cafe. If you come during the day, that will be open in the season. And as we look over there, it's pretty clear. I can just about see the North Wales coast over there. I can't see Snowdonia though. You can normally see Snowdonia, but if you look out here, have we got any flat earthers watching? Because it does look pretty flat out there, doesn't it? We get a nice scenic view from Blackpool. We get an unobstructed view of the sun when it sets. There's nothing to get in the way of it from here, but that looks pretty flat out there, doesn't it? Well, there's me trying to do a positive video. And what do we get? A police car. It's kicking off in Blackpool. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of noisy motorbikes around tonight. Check out this uh, base of a lamppost there. Aren't they amazing? Look at that there. That's, and they've got four of them. They've got two on each side. They're amazing, aren't they? they don't make them like they used to, do they? Anyway, I'm just going to stick the camera on here because I want to talk to you about Flat Earth. I can't get away from these noisy motorbikes, can I, tonight? But anyway, as you look out there, look at that vista. That is amazing. You really can't get better than here in Blackpool. We've got a perfectly north-south promenade as well, like I say, an unobstructed view of every sunset. I'm not a flat earther, by the way, but I'm interested to know how many flat earthers we've got watching. I'm an astronomer. I've been an astronomer since 2010. I'm a member of a society, so I know quite a bit. I've learned quite a lot myself. I'm pretty much self-taught, really, on astronomy. So I've been all over the world as well. I've been to South Africa. I've seen the stars upside down. I've seen the moon the other way around. I've seen all that. So I do not believe in flat Earth theory. But I'm just thinking, back in the olden days, you know, I'm going back thousands of years, they must have thought the Earth was flat, wasn't they? When, when you look out and all you can see is a flat horizon but they sussed it out a guy i think it was in egypt was it or saying or something in egypt eritosthenes was the guy that, that sussed it out he discovered that the shadows formed in formed different shadows in different places uh, as you go north and south and that was when they found out that the sun was overhead in some parts but not overhead in other parts and that's how he sussed out that the uh, uh the earth must have been a globe. So if you happen to live on one of the tropics, the Tropic of Cancer, anywhere between the tropics, you'll get a chance at least once a year to see the sun rise directly over your head. Yeah, but not here in Blackpool because we're about 53 degrees north of the equator. We're actually closer to the North Pole than we are to the equator, but we are three degrees west of the prime meridian. We're not too far from the prime meridian. Greenwich, of course. Uh, that was arbitrary, by the way. It's turning into a bit of an astronomy lesson, this isn't it, rather than a sunset video of Blackpool. But uh, yeah, the equator is where it is because it splits the Earth's hemispheres into two sections. It has to be where it is. It's 90 degrees from the axis of rotation, but longitude, uh, that's different. That can be anywhere. I mean, the, the, the meridian can be anywhere. The prime meridian happens to be in Greenwich, and uh, but it could be anywhere on Earth, really. Where's east and west? Well, we, we defined the prime meridian in around about 1875 or something like that, and it was chosen as Greenwich because, well, we had a navy then, didn't we? And we had a big observatory on the hill at London. It was all set up. It could have been in Germany. It could have been in France. But we had such a powerful navy at that time and we had the uh, we had the influence and we ended up getting the prime meridian going right through greenwich so there you go there is really no east and west and you get those people standing on the thing don't you on the lake on one side one in the in the east and one in the west and uh, like i say it's just arbitrary yeah yeah but uh, I think it would be interesting to go to the equator or anywhere between the tropics and see the sun directly overhead. I've always wanted to do that. Maybe I'll do it sometime and I'll video it. What do you reckon? Oh, I tell you what, there must be a race going on tonight in Blackpool. There's a noisy car now. 
But as we watch the sun going down, it's far from overhead at the moment. It's about, oh, I'm gonna do the two finger trick. <laughs> uh, that's around about, oh, five degrees from the horizon. If you put your hand out like that, that's 10 degrees. So I reckon it's about five, it's about half that. There you go. Looking nice, I can see the boat coming in over there to head ship. Still got the nosy motorbikes. I tell you what, that light is getting more awesome the lower the sun gets. And that's because it has to shine through a thicker atmosphere as it gets down. It's having to shine through a much thicker atmosphere. And uh, we've got a few clouds out there as well. It's actually looking really, really checky. Now, we've even got the Blackpool Illuminations on. The Blackpool Illuminate, I can see them shining here, yeah. It's a bit hard to see, I wouldn't be able to pick it up on video, but the actual illuminations are on. They must be testing them out, yeah? Wow, amazing, how about that? Well, there you go, that was it for this video. Uh, I wanted to bring you some of the views from up here at uh, Gin Square. Cracking view, a bit of an astronomy lesson as well. I hope you took a little bit from that. Uh, you might want to follow me over the channel, actually. Starman, yeah, where I do this specifically, astronomy, on that channel. Man, I have been a little bit quiet lately, but get following Starman, I'll put a link in the description if you are interested, I've got a lot of videos on there that telling you all about space and uh, how to photograph the Milky Way and the Moon and all that sort of stuff, I've been doing it since 2018, I was doing that before I started this channel, but anyway there you go, that's it for this video, I hope you like it, if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one